Hello and welcome to Offspring Magazine, the podcast. I'm your host, Srinath Ramkumar. You've missed my voice, haven't you? This week, we're here with all the other hosts, and we're going to do something different. It's going to be a slightly different episode where we're going to talk about some statistics and about what's up, what's coming in the future for the podcast. So let's jump straight into it. With me today is Bea, who you've heard of Hi. a lot from the past few weeks, I guess, right? Bea, I guess yeah, you've I been enjoying doing some months. new episodes. <laughs> yeah, past few months. Yeah, exactly. True. Ever since season three started, I would say. Yeah, right? I'd say, uh, what is it? Like 10 or 11 episodes right now, season three. Obviously, Serena, you did a few. Um, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, it's going pretty well then. Uh, well, I hope so. Uh, the listeners should definitely comment on whether they think it's going well or not. <laughs> I think it's been interesting, um, but I, and I hope that other people have enjoyed it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And with us, we also have Xiaoran. Hello, I'm Xiaoran. Uh, so far, you didn't hear my voice from the podcast, but uh, I'm sure in the near future, you will hear me. And uh, I'm not sure, shall I tell them my like interest topic? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to okay, that Okay, then that's it. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. And of course, Yuli. Yes, hi, I'm Yuli. You haven't heard my voice either yet, but hopefully soon you'll be hearing a lot more from me. <laughs> that's that's very nice to hear. And so I guess like the team is now uh, really focused, so to speak, on bringing new content. And I guess this, it's always good to have uh, people with motivation and good ideas for where to take the podcast forward. Speaking of which, uh, Bea, what was your most interesting episode over the past uh, few months? That's very, very hard because um, they were just all very different. I definitely went more out of my comf comfort zone this season, especially yeah. with the climate change episodes. Sure. Um, only two are out. The other two um, with Joachim Marotzke, also from the MPI of Meteorology, are coming out next week. Okay. Uh, so that was definitely very interesting and different for me to talk about. Um, I did my first episode on more of a careers type episode, which I never really did because I always stuck to science. So that was also really interesting and out of my comfort zone. So, yeah, it's really hard to say. I really enjoyed them all. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's pretty interesting that uh, there are so many people who are actually, you know, open to talk science, right? And also really sort of engaged in the conversation because I really enjoyed the episode of Sachin Panda. Also because, mm -hmm. you know, this this the book that he's written, like the books... I should say that he's written is are they're pretty fascinating and they have they sort of have a cult following of their own within certain circles for sure and it, it's pretty interesting that how you know like sci scientists are actually willing to speak out more about their science they just need a platform to do so and yeah exactly yeah. I thought it was also really interesting the the two episodes on climate change with Bjorn Stevens and the ones also that are coming out with Joachim what I just really appreciated from those episodes is the fact that they were also willing to speak their opinions and Definitely. we really dove deep into what their thought was Ju not just you know the research that they do but really their own opinions on this subject matter which I was mean, very refreshing I mean, that's the thing, right? Like when, when someone does science, you don't expect them to be a scientist and forget the human being who's doing the science and the human being who does science has opinions. I mean, I agree. It's, it's good to sort of get certain aspects of how one feels about certain topics out and make it clear to the public when you're talking about these topics. Anyway, uh Let's get off a bit about opinions and uh, opinion podcasting because I think that's a rabbit hole we don't want to go too deep into. And let's uh, go to Sharon. So what's what's coming up next? What do, what are your plans? What topics are you interested in covering? Um, my most interesting topic actually is about diversity. And uh, I think I will do 
two episodes about this, like uh, about uh, ethnic uh, diversity and the gender equality. Yeah,、uh, you said the back backward. I have so I'm really focused on the gender equality, but、uh, yeah, and I'm also interested in diversity. Actually, I think I also do one episode about、uh, career plan so on for the I don't know PhD students because I think、um, it's quite important for us so far. Yeah,、mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. But when when you when you mention diversity, are you already in contact with some people to talk about this, or do you plan、yeah. to? Okay, that's that's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the reply from Professor Steven. Uh, he's from Max Planck Institute for Study of Religions and Ethnic. So, yeah, but、okay. uh, the email du- <laughs> duration is a kind of long since he's busy. But I think I will get、sure. an appointment sooner or later. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's pretty cool that. Uh, th- like w- we're taking a scientific approach to it in this way, like you know, talking、yeah. to scientists about diversity. I mean, I think that's pretty interesting, and I think that's going to be a a banger of an episode.、Uh, Julie, I definitely sorry if I could、no. just quickly、okay. contribute. Um, we will also obviously at the end of this episode, we'll be talking about all these Instagram and Twitter questions that we put out over the last week. But I did put one of the questions, which was you know. Trying to give everyone the chance to tell us what kind of topics they were interested in, and someone specifically wrote that they would be interested in having a podcast about the gender gap in science. So maybe Xiaoran, that is also something for you to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah. I think last time I went to the Belgium for、uh, participating in a, one conference, and I got in touch with the. I don't like female scientists. This word, but I have to say this word now because it's. Specifically, I then they told me a lot of stories about the discrimination they got during their careers, and they're quite famous professors now, but they still get discrimination now. So I would like to have one episode to talk about this kind of stories. Nowadays, it's not happens in five years ago or ten years ago. Nowadays, I was really I don't know. I couldn't imagine it is still happening now. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think it's this is a very pressing issue. Right, and it's it's it's、uh, it's so unfortunate that it continues to happen in today's climate, but it still does, and I think that's that's yeah. But it, it's it's good. It's it's good that、uh, at least we're trying to shed some light on what's going on. Right, that's, that's pretty、yeah. good. Yeah, sometimes、right. I think from the female perspective,、uh, no, from the male perspective, they cannot feel this.、Uh, Maybe they are doing it, but they don't. They are really not aware of their behaviors. So if we tell the stories, then maybe they will be aware of、uh, behaviors they are doing. Maybe they didn't do it like、uh, on purpose.、Yeah. Definitely. I. I mean, I think, I think the whole thing comes back to, uh, what is, you know, what has been normalized, and what should be normalized. Like you know. What 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 is acceptable behavior and what has been considered acceptable so far? So I think th- that's th- I think these are topics that definitely we need to sort of dive a bit more deeper and understand to to sort of you know bring it bring it forward. Anyway,、uh, Yuli, now, so you're you're an, you're an astrophysicist, right? So that's correct. <laughs> and.、Uh, um. You wanna you wanna go ahead and talk about your interests and what what kind of episodes you wanna do? Yeah, I have a couple of ideas. I none of them are super concrete yet, and I like I I have some names in my head of people that I wanna ask to do a podcast, but I haven't contacted them yet. But I have a bunch of ideas because I noticed that physics is lacking <laughs> from、Definitely. the contents of this podcast, and I'm. Excited、Definitely. to introduce it,、um, introduce these topics to to the podcast,、um, and yeah. So I I do astroparticle physics, so、um, that's probably where I'm going to start、um, because I just feel the most comfortable in that area, and I think it's of great interest to the general public as well. So yeah, I have a bunch of ideas、um, to maybe do a, a little series about black holes and just talk、Ooh. about. All the different kind of ways we observe them and we learn from them, and what we know and what we don't know. And I mean, it's a huge topic. There's 
I think you could talk about that for yeah. hours and hours on end. I mean, so, I mean, um, I think we, I think we need to make a series out of that. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah. I think so too, because <laughs> like the, there's the, just so like, much. It's like you know, like Star Wars: The Force Awakens, like the nerd awakens. You know, like uh, as soon as you say <laughs> black holes, I'm, 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 I'm alert. I'm, I'm thinking already. Oh yeah. my god, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. It's like people are so fascinated by them, and yeah. and and actually, like alone within the Max Planck Society, there's so many different institutes that do astronomy and astrophysics and study black holes in different ways. And I think, um, yeah, that alone is a great resource of amazing scientists in our society to just talk to them about it and learn a lot. And um, yeah, Hmm. so that's definitely something I want to do. I have to try and figure out some sort of you know, structure and outline for the series and how I want to do it. But um, sure. yeah, I'm excited to to make that happen. Sounds very. I mean, this definitely yeah. fits. Also, it definitely fits with the the Twitter poll since um, when we asked on Twitter what kind of science based topics people were most interested in on Twitter, people 39 percent of the people said that they would be most interested in hearing a podcast about physics and astronomy. Hey. So there you go. <laughs> because <laughs> it's the coolest of all sciences <laughs> I, I, w- I would hold off on that I yeah, also I, would like I, to I would, hold on that. <laughs> triggered I mean aren't black holes like super hot oh <laughs> well they're Physics surrounding joke. for sure <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so Wait, it's a, just just a small clarification because I remember uh, last season I was discussing with Leah about her science, and is is are are you are you two from the same lab or at least same institute? We are. No, we okay. are. Her office is next to mine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, so yeah, we basically what we study is very closely related. Do you? Although she focuses more on yeah a different type of astrophysical source i see class i would say yeah do, do you but, also uh, go to the island to visit la palma yeah yeah, yeah. Oh my god yes i do yeah <laughs> ain't that the life anyway <laughs> okay so let's uh, move into the poll that b has been sort of teasing already a little bit so maybe you want to go ahead and uh, you know talk about the first question that we asked because i remember this was a this was a poll that we wanted to do for a while and we did it on instagram and twitter right and i guess we got some answers on twitter and instagram i mean also the people who voted on instagram I, like th- there was no option to not have a correct answer so it was you know so we're sorry for that maybe we figured out another way to do it next time but you know yeah our twitter yeah. our twitter has not updated yet so yeah we're still, we still have the old Twitter, can't do anything about it, but hopefully for the next poll, it'll change. Yeah. But yeah, it's a little bit of a background. Like Serena said, we wanted to do this poll. And like, I think the main reason why we wanted to do it was to try to engage with our listeners, try to see, you know, who are you? What are the topics that you're most interested in? What kind of content do you want us to be releasing in the future? And these polls were really helpful. So thank you to everyone that participated instagram was definitely the most successful since we had way more engagement on instagram than we did on twitter um but that's that's fine it is definitely clear that the overwhelming majority so specifically 91 percent of everyone that participated in our polls works in science so we I mean, are dealing that's not here surprising. with loads of science <laughs> yeah so everyone is definitely science-based what's a bit more interesting is that um it's not like everyone's interested in only listening about scientific research so only 38 percent actually told us they were interested in podcasts on scientific research there was quite a few people that were also interested in hearing about the phd life careers and diversity and equal opportunity so um that was interesting to to learn about um but back to the people 73 percent are phd or postdocs so if you talk to us about our target group it's, it's definitely, definitely PhD our, and postdocs. yeah 
I mean, to, again, yeah. to, I wouldn't say so this is I, a really surprising finding, but it's definitely sort of, it, it puts into perspective why we create content the way we do, because we are PhDs ourselves and our target audience has also been to the PhDs and PhD network. Although the podcast is available throughout the world, throughout, uh, you know, different uh, media, you know, and also for people of all walks of life. But it's it's quite obvious that, we, we, I mean, if you found the episodes a bit sort of high-brained with certain types of rhetoric, uh, it's probably because that's the way we think and that's the way people around us think uh, as well. But anyway, yeah, I'll let you continue. I didn't want to interrupt your flow there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, no, 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 no worries. You're definitely right that this, even though the statistic is not, unsurprising it definitely helps us knowing what content to release i think particularly about careers because i think we really mainly need to be talking about careers for phd and postdocs which is obviously a lot different than if you're just talking about careers to undergraduates or you know whatever so um that that was good when we did the poll on on where people listen to our episodes over 75 percent of our listeners listen on Spotify. Um, there was actually not so much viewing on YouTube. So I'm hoping that maybe we can increase that uh, since videos are sometimes a really nice way to look at uh, podcasts. It helps you understand them. But yeah, so Spotify is definitely the clear winner there. Um, and I mean, then we get into the more specific questions, which was specifically what kind of science-based topics people would be interested to hear about. And as I mentioned on Twitter, interestingly, most people were interested in physics and astronomy. On Instagram, we got slightly different results. There, most people were interested in mental and physical health and biology, evolution, and medicinal research no. so those were kind of like the it, key it topics could, i think the this disparity could probably be attributed to the fact that biologists are more on instagram and physicists are more on twitter i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I i would i would say I i'm an exception be. because i'm more on twitter than instagram but you know anyway but i think this is this is what what we go ahead go ahead sorry serena keep okay going. so i just okay, wanted so to what i did want to say was <laughs> This is why we do in-person episodes. <laughs> it's a big difference. Okay, so what I just wanted to add was it's different audience from different platforms does not mean the, the topics. So, like, again, we, we only had four choices. Definitely, there's going to be a lot more topics out there which are more interesting for people as well. So... It, it this was just again it it was not something that we're gonna completely focus on just because we got these results. It's gonna be something that that's gonna help us enhance the product that we produce, which is these podcasts. Anyway, but yeah, just go ahead. This is what I wanted to add. Yeah, exactly. I think what we can see is that in the end, people are interested in a wide range of topics, and so there's not one clear winner where we're like, okay, tomorrow we need to be recording an episode on this. In the end, the interest is so wide that I think the way we're doing it now, you know, publishing on all different areas of science is probably the best way to reach the majority of our audience. On the other hand, when we asked about non-science based topics, there was a clear winner for interest in careers in industry. There was also quite a lot of interest in careers in science and funding, but it was mainly the industrial careers yeah. that people were interested in hearing about. So this is where I think we will be focusing on in the upcoming season and a yeah. couple of weeks, actually. Yeah. And we'll try to produce more episodes yeah. on that. I mean, another thing that I want to add on here is because, I mean, I, I recently attended another conference where most PhDs I spoke to are interested in actually not continuing in academia. And most of them are more interested in what's out there in the industry for them as PhDs, as highly skilled uh, people with like, I mean, again, our PhD life as day to day is, 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 is a different type of, uh, let's say, learning, a different type of upbringing. And I think it's quite interesting that there's this huge exodus of PhDs from academia 
And I guess this also brings into light some of the episodes that we did really early on into the podcast, like in the season one, where we were doing t- uh, interviews with people like Paula Stefan and people like uh, Peter Suber. So these were really early episodes. So in case you missed them, I would highly recommend that you revisit these because these are topics that we decided to focus on quite quite early on because we noticed that many people who were actually, you know, we we were younger PhDs then and many people who were actually planning to leave academia back in those days were already showing this trend of uh, leaving academia because of the state of academia. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would say revisit these old episodes and definitely that could probably give you an idea of uh, why we think taking the podcast in this particular, why we asked this particular question as well about non-scientific topics. Anyway. If we ever have a break where we don't have, uh, where we don't currently have an episode to release, I think a good idea would be to maybe re-release those season one episodes on careers. Just in case. I mean, we would definitely republicize them, about. but not re-release them. Yeah, so they're yeah. already released that out there, but we would republicize them and repost those episodes for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and what was the last question? So I mean, that's that's. Yeah, so I mean, that was basically it. There were a few other questions where we asked people like, "How do you find out about our episodes?" Most people said Instagram and LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. But the poll was also done on Instagram. So I'm not sure how much we can interpret from that. And when we asked people how often they listen, there was no one really that said they listen to our episodes all the time. I do I, not blame anyone since I don't. You think- know, like I, I, I want to I wanna say so like word of mouth publicity generally has been very good for our podcast because I know a lot of people in my lab because of the way I've kind of pushed the podcast on to them like ever since i started it like many years ago a lot of people in the lab are actually asking hey okay when's the next episode why is it on fridays now what happened why is it not on mondays or wednesdays so i mean there are some people who actually look forward to the new episode which comes out every week but that being said that is a very few number of people and definitely i don't listen to every episode of a podcast that i'm following I mean, other than the offering podcast either. So I, exactly. I would listen to it. If exactly. I found so, it you know, for me, I, yeah. And uh, sorry, I, I mean, for me, I just, I, I always listen to the every episode in the morning after I brushed my teeth and okay, now it's time. And I, I cannot finish one episode, <laughs> but I just often also feel okay. Every week, it's not that much because at the end of the week, oh, I didn't have anything to listen to, but uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, so I would also want to add that, it, like, when people say, oh, people's attention span is so low, I would say, no, it's not the attention span that is low. It's it's that the, 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 the way to keep people interested, that is low. I mean, people are willingly listen to three hours of Joe Rogan speak stuff, you know, that, that doesn't stop uh, mm-hmm. him from getting listened. It's just that we, it's just that we need to identify topics that, bring forth retainer like the retention of listening anyway do you have yeah. any statistics on like which past episodes did really well in terms of numbers of yes. listeners yeah so um maybe serena if you can get up yeah after, yeah i'm I'm, I think I'm currently good, i'm just uh, where we can check it and in the meantime i did ask on instagram what episode what what was people's favorite episode of season three unfortunately no one replied to me so i don't have any statistics i mean also generally season three is quite quite uh, new right so generally yeah i mean uh, this is a trend we've noticed because uh most uh episodes start to get traction a, a few months after release i mean there's there's an initial peak and then a few months later someone's suddenly interested in the topic and then you get a lot of listens on specific topics so I would say right now, like some of the most listened to episodes are like the, the very first episode, like season one, episode one. And then like the interview we did with Philip Detmer from Kutzkazakt, season two, episode 25. Mm. And then also like if you go to YouTube, like, of course, like having big celebrities really helps. Like, for example, 
uh, Bia's interview with uh, 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 Ben List, ben List. Was f- did a yeah Nobel so Prize. Nobel Prize winner Ben List is doing really well on YouTube. Also, the interview with Neil Tyson is doing quite well. And uh, on the on the other hand, like with season three, we are, we like c- certain episodes are already doing like really well like for example the very first episode the diabetes one and also the sachin panda one are actually they're they're doing really well and also a lot of people are interested in starting a company after their phd so that was a really like well uh like a well-received episode and that that it's it's not surprising right because it's again it's very highly topic dependent and more often than not our listens have a a, a weird curve nobody listens to it immediately but then eventually they come around <laughs> so i mean that's also quite interesting <laughs> i mean i would say like you know generally in a in a in in my day to day life if i'm working on the bench where my hands are occupied and it's it's a it's a bit more mechanical work for me i would listen to a podcast but if i'm sitting at my computer and writing or something it's you you i cannot listen to something with spoken word because it really distracts you from writing or reading stuff so yeah. i think i think this yeah. is probably the same for, for sure. because and since a vast majority of our listenership is from the scientific like phd postdoc sort of academic fields i'm not surprised that uh, people don't immediately get on to listening to a certain episode because they're probably busy anyway yeah yeah i totally get that we might get more now that the holiday season's <laughs> coming up. <laughs> I, I always listen to podcasts when I have like a long drive sure. in my car or somewhere, or like I'm traveling somewhere. Yeah. So we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for this episode. It was just a brief catch up with uh, everyone, I guess. And I think the survey was a sh- short one, but I think we'll have a bit more detailed questions along with, I guess, the PhD net survey, which comes out later this year. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely keep your eyes out on like Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn for more of these polls and ways in which we're trying to engage with you. I think we will also maybe do a few live Instagram episodes. Um, we've been thinking about that, so just stay tuned for for those. Keep your engagement high. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening, watching, whatever you're doing. And stay tuned. We'll be right back next week with the next episode. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.